Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so not great news. You may have seen in one of my previous posts that um, yeah, we've got a crack in the sunroof of the caravan. The wobble box is not very happy. So yes, I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, it's quite annoying. Um, and, and thinking about it now, when I actually took it back to the storage yard, it did have a little bit of condensation in. I didn't really pay much attention to that. Um, and it wasn't until I actually went back to some of the pictures because whenever I drop it off before leaving, I always take a couple of pictures just to sort of show what the state it's actually in before I leave. And actually when I zoom into back into one of the pictures and I can actually see the crack within that. So yeah, thinking about it, it's pretty obvious that I had an issue before. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about it. And um, it's sort of uh, a temporary fix I'm going to have to put in place to start with um, and then order up the part. But I think the part's going to take sort of anything um, from three to six weeks to get here. So um, yeah, I'll uh, show you the damage and then I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do as a temporary measure. So this is our sky window where we've got the crack. It is just there. It's about five inches long. Um, but again, yeah, really didn't notice it the first time round. Um, so uh, yeah, quite annoying. But um, again, I think this is quite a common problem when I've seen on other um, forums. It's either this or the windows themselves. Um, so yeah, a bit of a pain. But I'll get up closer. So we have got a slight crack this side, inside the caravan, but it does stop there. So it's about a, just over an inch in size. And then on the outer side, obviously it goes back up the caravan a bit, a couple of inches, and then comes down. But what I have noticed is that this is pretty closed up. It's only at the very top here that there's an actual gap so even when it does rain it doesn't let much water in so my plan of action is is to get a drill and at the very end of this crack drill a small hole and here and then that will just prevent the crack from spreading down any further and then I'm going to mask up this best I can and just ply a little bit of silicon just so again I can try and get a seal um, in that gap um, but uh, like I say even with all the rain that we've had uh, not a lot actually comes through so I'm not overly concerned but I do want to drill these holes to prevent it anymore um, but uh, yeah I'll show you what I'm going to do next right I've got my trusty drill so I'm going to take this a bit easy to start with and do the inside first. So I just need to get where I can see the very end and give it a meal or two and then slowly... The issue I had there, it was literally right on the bend. But um, yes, I managed to get that in. Which is good. Let me just show you what I've done. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up that well or not. But just there, I've drilled the hole. And that's where you can just see above it where the crack comes to so the idea is it's cracked there and then stopped and it won't come down here anymore so um, in a bit I actually I probably won't even bother silicon this side um, but in a minute I'll do the same outside draw that hole where you see into that crack mask it best I can and then apply you can see the gap there where you've got uh, a bit of light coming through so that's where the gap is but obviously it gets narrower and narrower as it comes down but um, yeah, a bit of silicon in there and that should be fine for a temporary repair for the time being but um, yeah, let's get on the outside and see what we can do so in terms of some of the bits I'm going to use is just some clear silicon 
nothing special obviously but I want it to minimize the actual look on the outside so it doesn't look like I've got a massive crack in the front window or sky window and a bit of frog tape um, yeah just go easy with what you're going to use because again you don't want to leave any sticky residue behind so I'd always say get the better uh, masking tape just again doesn't give you any hassles uh, going forward but um, again totally up to you if you're in this predicament um, what you use but um, this is what I'm going with give it a little clean get some of that dirt off out of the way I must admit, it's not the easiest part to get to. And what I don't want is to actually, this to slide and actually scratch anymore. Now just go careful because this is going to thump through so you don't want to be smashing the other bit even though the glass needs replacing it's plastic. All right, step one, done. Let's get some masking tape. Get it on there. Now when it comes to the masking tape, it's entirely up to you how you do this, if you do this. Obviously, yes, it needs to be replaced and I'm just being a bit funny. I'd just rather have it that it's quite a defined line. And what I will do after this is obviously I'll wipe it clean. So, so the idea is just to stop too much of it going in. I'm trying to do this, balancing on a ladder and trying not to fall off and do myself a mischief. So this is the plan. Run a bit of silicone down here over that gap because the seal does seem to be in place underneath. So I'm not too wide on that front. And when we're away, it's supposed to be quite rainy. So I am quite confident on that bit. So um, yeah, let's get some silicone and do the next phase. Yay, let's get a little bit of silicon in here. And that's another reason why to just put a little bit of masking tape down. So if you do get too much on there, it doesn't really matter. You want to squeeze it in. Obviously make sure you've got quite a bit towards the hole that you've just made, which will hopefully resolve your crack, it cracking any further. But that should be enough. 
just to seal what you need and by using silicon if it does flex for any reason um, by the wind um, when you're traveling or if it's getting hot and cold again the, the silicon will flex with the actual brake and it shouldn't be so noticeable yes you know there's a crack there but um, yeah it should be a lot nicer than loads of gaffer tape but as I said it depends on where you are when this happens you might not, not have this luxury you might be in a field and you might just have to use gaffer tape which is totally fine as well so certainly when we're away I'll be taking some of that just in case there's any issues with this actually it does continue to crack but I'm hoping it doesn't And that is that. So it's just got a thin layer either side and in the hole. And obviously if you're up close you're going to see it, but this is my plan of action and uh, we'll see if it works or not. So from the outside, they say you can't really notice it that much. It's quite good on that front. Um, Whether it lasts is another story, but um, yeah, I'm pretty confident it'll be okay. So we're back inside again now, and um, yeah, like I say, you don't really notice it. Yes, you can see that thin layer of silicon, and there's a bit of a blob inside where the silicon's gone through. So you want to make sure that you've used it enough, because again, the idea is for it to be watertight, not look pretty. I think overall, that should do what we need. But like I say, if you get cracks, it's very important that you get and drill these holes. And the idea of drilling the holes underneath is then to stop that crack continuing down, which will cause even bigger problems if you're away. So um, yeah, try and contain what you have got whilst you can. So that is the temporary measure I've put in place. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the, the right thing to do, but it seems sort of the most logical thing at this moment in time. Um, so um, yeah, hopefully, like I say, if you've got this problem in, in the same place, this will give you an idea of what you can do. Hopefully it's, it's not as bad as obviously putting gaffer tape and lots of other stuff on it. But again, it really does depend on where you are. Obviously this is at home. Um, where I can do this sort of um, temporary repair so it's a bit different than actually being away um, and obviously letting in water into the caravan so again it's going to be depending on yeah what the circumstances are but um, this has worked for us and um, yeah we are about to go away again so I can't fix it for the next trip but uh, yeah I'll take some gaffer tape worst case scenario just in case but uh, I'm hoping the silicon will just stay in place and I've used that just so I allow it to flex if it needs to um, and obviously then prevent uh, any water from coming in but uh, yeah I'll keep a close eye on that uh, throughout the holiday in the coming weeks just until the new parts are put in place. So that will be it for this week. Uh, what I'll do is I'll keep you posted and uh, I'll let you know how the temporary th fix is sort of uh, holding up uh, whilst we wait for, wait for a replacement but uh, as always any comments drop them below turn on the notifications, hit that like and uh, subscribe to the channel and I will see you all soon. Cheers everybody.